Stephanie, laid off and broke, needs to find a new job fast. How comfortable are you with the low lights? So lingerie for three years in Newark. You're good to go. <laughs> Discovering that a sizable reward is being offered to bring in her ex-boyfriend who jumped bail, she decides to become a bounty hunter. I might like his better. But as she tracks him down, she finds out he may be innocent in One for the Money. One for the Money, David, you've just seen it. Why don't you tell us what you thought? Katherine Heigl plays Stephanie, a lingerie salesperson at Macy's who gets laid off, and she's at the end of her rope. She needs money. So what does she decide to become? A bounty hunter. Of course, of course. Now, if you believe in that premise, I have Swampland <laughs> in Florida to sell you. So clearly this movie was targeted at women. It was written by three women, it was directed by a woman, and it's obvious that they felt this is what women want to see in terms of a light action thriller with a small dose of romantic comedy in it. I got some not so great news. I got let go from Macy's lingerie department. Those bastards. And who wouldn't enjoy a nice thaw? Come on. And I got maybe 10 minutes left with the car. What I need to get is a job. A husband. So in the 1980s, after Nancy Reagan disclosed that she carried a small gun in her purse, gun manufacturers ran out and produced a gun for women that was smaller and daintier and had less recoil. So that's how this movie presents itself, a softer, daintier version of a cop action thriller movie that the studio will hope that women will embrace. Now this was based on a very popular series of novels by Janet Ivanovich, and this is the first in the series, One for the Money. The problem I have with this movie is that there's really no tension. You never feel like Stephanie's character is ever in danger. So clearly the writer and the director realized that this premise was ridiculous, so they introduced this character called Ranger, who is a bounty hunter and is assigned as somewhat of a mentor to Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're gonna be a bounty hunter, you wanna have a name like Ranger. Pretty, and yeah. it really fits him well because he's really <laughs> macho and he really knows what he's doing. And he's constantly saving Stephanie's ass as she bumbles in and out of these ridiculous situations. So are there any good performances, any good acting, something to redeem this movie? And there is one really good actor who I liked in this movie and that's Jason O'Mara, who's in Terra Nova. And he plays the cop ex-boyfriend that Stephanie is trying to corral and, and bring to justice. And you really feel like he's unhinged and he's on the edge. Frankly, the actors are just not given a lot to work with. The most telling moment in this movie is something that didn't happen in the movie. It happened around me. I was at a critic screening and in the middle of the movie, the critic sitting to the left of me got up and walked out and she didn't come back. And the critic sitting to the right of me in the middle of the movie got up to take a call, came back a half an hour later and asked me, did I miss anything? What did you say? I said, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your verdict? Take your ticket. I was waiting for Lizbeth, the girl with the dragon tattoo, to come into this movie and kill everyone. Skip it. Bam.